This week, I am going on an adventure to train like a professional paintball player. And you're gonna wanna watch to the end of this video because with only two days of training, I am going to be entered into a 3v3 tournament style match. Thank you so much to Tic Tac for sponsoring today's episode and making this adventure possible. The Tic Tac Big Berry Adventure was created to inspire fun and adventurous moments like my adventure learning paintball this week. So be sure to follow at Tic Tac USA on social media so you can learn how to use the hashtag Big Berry Challenge to inspire your next adventure. Hi, I'm Nikki McEvers, and I'm Paintball's first female head coach of Team Ironman. So this week, we're in Oceanside, California at Victory Paintball Park. I'm gonna be teaching her about the gear that we use, how to communicate. I'm gonna definitely teach her how to shoot her gun, and I'm gonna teach her how to move. I'm Nick Sloyak, a uh, player on the Los Angeles Ironman and Professional. Been doing this for 20 years, and uh, really excited that you're out here to give our sport a shot. So I have two days to prepare for a 3v3 match. Do you yeah. think I can improve enough to like hold my own a little bit in this game? Or are you guys kind of skeptical? If you can learn how not to panic when there are paintballs flying past your head at 200 miles an hour, then you'll be good. So one of the major hurdles that Michelle will need to get over is just the anxiety of getting shot. You're gonna get shot and you have to learn from those mistakes and that failure. And part of that is learning how to stay calm in situations that you're uncomfortable in. Tied along with paint for being one of the most important pieces will be the goggle. This is gonna be the thing that protects your face, which is probably the single most important part of your body that you wanna protect while playing. How often do you get hit? In the face? Here. Oh, a lot. No, that happens a lot. <laughs> so, goggles, next. There's no rule saying you have to wear knee pads or elbow oh, pads. Oh, I'm going to. Okay, well, there you go. Um, <laughs> yeah. you know, I would wear a giant marshmallow out there if I could. Just a bubble? Yeah. Just a bubble curl? Oh, I love the colors. Uh, I yeah. just, okay. <laughs> um, but in that jersey that you're wearing, you've got padding in the shoulders, you've got padding on the side, and you've got a little bit of padding in the forearms. So, I think we're ready for drills. We got you pretty much geared up, so we're gonna head out onto the field and uh, start shooting some paintballs. All right, let's do it. You've got three targets out there, two small cones and a center target. Nikki will have you pick which one to shoot. The thing to note though is when she says shoot the left target, switch your marker to the oh, left hand. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> But that's just the practice of in game time situations. If I'm playing out the right side of my bunker, my teammate says, hey Nick, shoot left. I have to immediately switch the position I'm in and shoot that way. Go ahead and pick the center cone. That's so skinny. <laughs> we'll point at that one. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean Got to him. that. Wait, was All that right. me? Right. No, that was that you. Was, that wasn't me, no, that was that you. Was you. That was me? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even well, know. The excitement is real. <laughs> it was so sensitive. So it was like smooth, no right? pick. Yeah. Yep. All right, so now you know, you know what you have to do next now, right? Yeah. Switch hands. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so if I'm Okay, here, so keep on position. target. Yep. Switch hands. Perfect. Okay, aim. Oh my god, I've never done anything with my left hand. This is so strange. You're just going like this, right? Yeah. Okay. So if you want to shoot faster, you can use both fingers what? to go like this. Kind of like... We call it feathering. It's both... Yeah. Let's not keep going. There we go. Oh, you have to like fully release. Yeah. You see oh, how much faster that is? Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then the one thing to think about now too is that you've shot a lot of paint, so you're gonna want to reload. And I leave it in my left hand? You can if you want, if you can. So look at what you just did though. You took your hand off the trigger. Mm -hmm. oh, so, so now I that take with my right you. hand. Yeah, there you go, there you okay, go. Okay, yeah, exactly. got it. Oh God. There you go. And if you see anybody, you wouldn't be able to shoot them at that, at that time. Yeah. Okay. You want to be able to take that pod and load and continue to shoot. Reload when you can, not when you have to. How about we spice this up then? All right, now you gotta hit me. No! You gotta shoot at people, let's go! But I don't wanna hit you! Oh my god, this feels so strange. Are you sure? What? It's paintball! Okay, um, I will prepare to shoot you now. Yeah, thank you. So we didn't have to move at all because you're off a little bit. Okay. Let's readjust and let's try again. Oh, nice. Whoa. And you actually skimmed him, so good job. Keep going! Keep going? Yeah! Oh. There you go, right in the center, yep. Oh! oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my Did you... god! <laughs> well, I didn't shoot you! I was not expecting that. I was close though. Yeah, I heard it, you, it went right by my ear. Yeah. Oh my god. So I'll shoot at you, not gonna try and hit you, but just get used to that sound. Yeah. You gotta overcome that fear. Ready? <sighs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't try, try, just try not to move, you're, you're fine. Can you see the balls coming? Yes, up? I That's can. Good. So now put your gun <laughs> in. The yes! <laughs> Did it break? No, it didn't. And so no, keep playing. Out. That would be one of those things where like you felt- That you... wasn't bad. No. 
Oh, turn the marker off. Oh, oh my God! Uh, Did you just shoot it? Nikki? Wait. She just shot Nikki. Does, does this button? Do you something? shot Coach. You shot me. In the oh my God! I'm so sorry. <laughs> I knew that you were gonna shoot me at some point. I just didn't know when it was gonna happen. <laughs> because with all the new players. <laughs> talk about that, yeah. So now we're gonna move on to positioning behind a bunker to not show your legs, your feet, your head, any part of the gun so that you can stay like safely behind it. So the bunkers have different names. Yeah, so what you'll see on a paintball field is a can, looks like a soda can. The Doritos, there's three dimensional Doritos. The cakes, you're gonna have different names with the corner bunker you see over here. Some people call them Aztecs, some people call them temples. Each one of these shapes is gonna play differently with it being a flat edge, a rounded spot. And you're in a, I would say a lucky position because you're short. Right? You could probably stand <laughs> up in these temples in the tall cake and you don't have to bend down. The one thing that really sets paintball apart is the field layout is always changing and we only have a set amount of time from the moment the layout drops publicly to the time the tournament starts to adapt to that and to learn off of it and to make our game plans. A football field's always going to be 100 yards by however wide it is. With the positioning that you're in right now, how much of the field do you think you can see? Just this. Yeah, just just here. this area right here, right? So you're gonna wanna be able to get in a position where you can see the other side of the field. So sometimes what the oh, you what can, the like, guys do. Mm -hmm. So what the guys do sometimes is they use their left knee to push into it, move it a little bit, and now that gives you a bigger field of vision. And the one thing to think about then, here too is look yeah. at the distance between your marker and the bunker. Oh, yep. The clear. more you go. push yourself yep. out, the bigger that angle becomes. The game of paintball is really about angles. You don't want to get eliminated and you should be upset when you do. So you have to value your body and you just have to learn that, hey, I need to be able to play tight, expose very little of myself, and you're going to find that some of these shapes are going to be very challenging and you're going to be uncomfortable and you're not going to like it. And when you've got two or three other people shooting 10 and a half balls a second at you, it's going to suck. We went over playing the bunkers. Now we're going to go over snap shooting. One of the biggest fundamentals of paintball, what a snapshot is, it's being tucked into your bunker, not exposed to your opponent and it's taking a very quick shot, one ball, to force them to go in so you can gain dominance on your opponent. So just one shot? One shot. Okay. Gun on. Oh, oh my God. you put your finger I'm on the trigger sorry. too quick. It's a, don't I'm apologize so to me. So the gun's on, the loader's on. Oh you, God. Don't put your finger on the trigger. That's how you shoot people in the feet. Okay. I'll go in this tower. Okay. The first five snapshots that you shoot at me, I will not shoot back. Okay. So you just get your accuracy on. After the fifth shot, all I'm gonna shoot at is the exposed part of you. Watch your feet. If you start to lead with your elbow, I'm gonna say elbow and I'm gonna shoot at it. Jesus Christ. So when he's shooting back at you, then you wanna go back in. Don't just stay out and get shot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's five. So now I shoot back. <laughs> elbow. <laughs> okay. okay, I can see your foot. There you go. Get set. There you go. So now you're off to the left quite a bit. Get a good, good. shot. Good. Elbow a little bit. <laughs> oh my God. You got me. I know. It bounced. I can see you. <laughs> you understand that you have a gun that's going to shoot him, but you're not confident with your skills yet. Yeah. It's like terrifying peeking out knowing that he, you're but like, there. But, but you just have to accept like you're gonna get shot. Yeah. Now we're gonna go to one-on-ones. Okay, what does that entail? So that's basically you against him. Just <laughs> <laughs> one of you's gonna start at this black start gate here, and one of you's gonna start at the other end. The objective is to shoot him before he shoots you. Okay, are you gonna be going like all out on me? Uh, well, like I should, but no. Okay. Go, go, shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Why are you not shooting? Oh, wait, wait, oh my god, wait, wait, sorry. Oh my god, my <laughs> gun was off. Shoot, 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 okay. Go, go, go. Up, 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 up. Oh, I, can, I got it. Oh, you got it. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Ow. Go, go, go. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, you know that he's in one of those Doritos. Okay, move to the next bunker. That big brick. Oh, sh**. Oh, don't expose yourself too much. Oh, I got hit. Go, 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 go. Keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Move to the next one. Go, 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 go. Now shoot him in and let's go to the next bunker. Keep going, keep going. Get behind the bunker if you're gonna reload. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Do you 
see where he's at? Oh, you got him! Yeah! There we go! Yes! Hell yeah! We just finished day one, so how are you feeling now? I'm sweaty. I feel like it was definitely watching like a hamster on heroin, but like. <laughs> Who's ever seen that before? Raise your hand. <laughs> Y'all have now. <laughs> I feel like it's like David and Goliath a bit, except you know how David wins in the end? I know I'm not gonna win in the end. Yeah, yeah, but you're going easy on me. Still though, but like you took, again, you took what you learned and it worked. And that's just one of those things where continuing to apply pressure and taking the marker and the tools that you have at your disposal, you can win in any situation. <sighs> that was so fun. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not too bad. In a game of 15 minutes, there's a field, the bunkers on the field, they're mirrored, and the objective of the game is either to eliminate all the other players or to hit the buzzer on the other side. The team with the most points at the end of the 15 minutes wins. As a novice, the best thing that Michelle can contribute is her communication. So, final challenge, it's about to happen. I feel so much better after yesterday, getting into those 1v1s, getting some hits. Well, I'm 100% confident in your abilities. <laughs> Even after I You're... shot your foot yesterday. <laughs> yeah, so now we're just gonna put it into play and we're gonna see what happens. We have to make one big decision, and that is the paint color my team will be using today. One is purple, one is pink, just like the Tic Tac Pink Fairy Adventure. We actually had these two different types of paint custom made for us. So, Nikki, why does does the paint color matter? Pink paint, because you can see it flying through the air, you can dodge it. Purple paint, you can't see it coming through the air so well, so the people that you're playing against, they possibly cannot dodge the paint and you have a better chance of shooting them. So right now, guys, I am going to shake out one Tic Tac, and this Tic Tac will determine whether or not we have the strategic advantage of the purple paint or the cosmetic and my personal favorite color advantage of the pink paint. Let's see what we get. All right, we got pink! All right, well, here you go. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I know it's a strategic disadvantage, but look at that. So we'll be heading into the final challenge with the pink paint. So the final challenge we have set up for Michelle is taking everything that we've worked on and putting it into a team-based format, from holding my gun properly, to playing tight my bunker when I have to, to moving when I have to, and to telling my teammates what the game plan is. Where do I need to go? What job do I need to do? It's one thing to look at it on paper, but until you actually go out there and attempt to do it, you're not gonna know. All right, here we go! <laughs> you good? Yeah. You got it. The Vegas, Utah! Okay, so the back left. Back center and the Vegas. The Cobra's the corner. Oh. Hey, the center tower, the Cali. I got hit. You lost Michelle. <laughs> God, that was so lame. My role as the coach during the game is to provide them with feedback when they come back in after a point. So either we can make adjustments or corrections or change the game plans if needed. See, one thing to remember is even when you're getting shot, uh -huh. you can still always talk. You know? Okay. It's not just you by yourself over here on the side. Okay. You have teammates to rely on, but they need information. Tell Nick who's shooting at you so he can shoot at that person so then you can get out. Okay. You good? Yeah. Again, there's no rush saying like, hey, we have to win this really quick. We're working on just the basics, okay? Okay. You have to commit to communicate. Okay. You have to decide you're gonna communicate. Okay, I'm just gonna say everything. Just go at it. Okay. All right, Michelle, let's go. To Vegas! God, Vegas! Over the back center! You good? Are you good? I'm getting no. hit from the Vegas! Oh, yeah. We lost Michelle! So all things avoidable, right? You got shot in your hopper because your gun was like this. You can correct that. Okay. It's not like you're getting shot because you're getting outplayed or you're getting out positioned. You've got to realize that you've got to have it in a certain position. Okay. Yeah, here we go! He's at the Vegas! Over the back center! Kelly! He's playing me. Okay, Michelle, do you think you can make a move? Yeah, I'm gonna move. Okay, go for it. Oh, there you go. Okay. 
Okay, the tally. I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. Hey, you're here, Michelle. The same position that you're in right now. 300. I see Godwin inside of the Echo. Good. Jeremy. There you go, Michelle. Watch the tank. Watch the outside of that big brick, okay, Michelle? He's in the Dorito right behind it. satisfying feeling huh yeah yeah so the one mistake that they made is that their widest guy cut back in and played on me and their Dorito guy played this way mm -hmm. on me yeah. and the one thing that's that, when I came in that's I when you made yeah. the move up because they're blind that 50 brick cuts off a lot of their vision that was awesome <laughs> well, we're not done so I know all right there okay. we go. I just wanted to do one cool thing today that felt like a cool thing Hey, the money, the right can, Michelle. The can right in front of you. Yeah! Kill one! The back center! Back center! You gotta communicate, Michelle. The Dorito on the left, Michelle. You gotta get in tight on the right. Hey, kill two. It's two on one. You okay. and me versus one other person. Okay? There you go. Right there, right there. Yeah, yeah, he's still there. He's playing towards you. So when you're ready, go ahead and take a shot. Go ahead and take a shot, Michelle. There you go. Keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Ah. Ah. All right, here we go. He went to the corner. The Cobra. Hey, kill the Cobra. Kill one. Hey, we lost Jeremy. There you go, Michelle, there you go. There's no one wider than you, Michelle. They're all inside. Hey, Brandon, it's just me and you. All right, it's two eliminations, Michelle. He's only in the back center. Only in the center camp. You can go all the way up to the Echo. Go straight up. There you go, all the way, all the way. Woo. All right, he's on me. He runs to your left, to your left. <laughs> Go. Wait, listen. Good job executing the game plan. Thanks, Coach Nikki. Yeah. That was so fun. Great. Thank you so Great. much. Nikki. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. This was such an amazing experience, and I'm really sad that we we're done playing. Yeah. <laughs> I want to keep playing. That's why I love doing this. That's why I love coming out with Nikki, and I love that you guys are out here doing this and, you know, just exposing people to what we do. And hopefully, this encourages people to get out there and actually just play paintball. You don't have to come out here and play tournament paintball and shoot 10 net balls a second and, you know, look good doing it. But yeah, I, I do look good. You do look good. Like, that looks, I mean, I think you should wear that out to dinner tonight. <laughs> Just saying. I think I should shower before we do anything. <laughs> You're telling me. Thank you guys so much for joining me on today's adventure. And thank you so much to Tic Tac for sponsoring today's episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below with what you want to see next. And if you're new here, subscribe. Also, if you want to try out a pack of the brand new Tic Tac Big Berry Adventure for yourself, you can do so via the link in my description. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.